Ben, and thanks for being here today. Um, uh, I know it must be a very busy day for all of you, and appreciate the time you're taking out to be here with us today. Um, uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about just three slides about who is ETP. I think it's important to be introduced to someone before you know more about them. So as an introduction, I'll take up a couple of slides. Uh, so do you want a uh, clicker or? So ETP is a software company focused on retail and e-commerce. Uh, and last year, we served uh, about 30 million consumers through our systems. Um, over $20 billion of merchandise was sold using our software. $20 billion is a substantial uh, amount of transactions. Uh, we have over 200,000 or 2 lakh people who wake up every morning and use the ETP system. Uh, we are in 24 countries across Asia and about 40,000 stores and web stores use our system, making us approximately in the top three players in, in the 24 countries that we operate in, which include India, uh, many other countries in the Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia, like Indonesia, Philippines. Uh, we are also in Australia, New Zealand, China. So all over the, uh, the, the major parts of Asia, India, the Middle East, which we call the game market. Uh, we work with lots of domestic brands as well as international brands. So in all countries, we will try to work with the local players because we see that the uh, fair share in Asia Pacific will become local brands as they become uh, more and more you know, uh, mature in the way that they go to market. One good example in Singapore, for example, is Charles and Keith that started off as a domestic brand, then got an investment from Louis Vuitton Capital and then actually bought back the investment from LVMH and are now growing as a pure local brand, but growing globally. So it's, it's possible actually for local brands to become global brands because all the global brands were once local brands. We have to remember that. So we work with both local and global brands. So we've got, you know, you can see almost anyone you can mention is working with us in all these regions that we work in. Um, and we have uh, succeeded so well, especially with multinationals because Let's say uh, one of the big brands, a Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, wants to work with someone for their technology in Asia Pacific, who has actually made all the regionalization required, like all the e-filing of GST in India, all the red invoicing management in Thailand, or, or the special localization you require in Vietnam, or in China, which is called the FAPIO system in China. So who's got all of that built into their system in 24 different localizations? Very few. Definitely not uh, the, the American companies. They can't compete. They, for them, they're used to one big platform, one localization, one currency, and off you go, right? Uh, we are the ones who deal with complexity. If you come from India, you understand complexity, right? There are five ways to get to one place, and all of them will take 30 to 70 minutes. So that's why you have to plan your day. So, uh, okay, that's all about ETP. Uh, we'll have a Q&A later if you want to ask any more questions about the company. Uh, I'll be very happy to answer what I can. You can calculate it's, uh, you know, a few thousand man years of work that went into building these platforms. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, our customer advisory board uh, for helping us to have the vision to, uh, and the inspiration to build these platforms. I'll just say this, but if you go out there in the rest of the world, including the US and Europe, you will not find such advanced technology platforms uh, being launched and successful in the market as what we have today. So we have here, you know, uh, members from like Arun Katpalia from Benetton, Sujat from Waliram Group, Chidanan from Titan Group, Murli from Victoria's Secret, Arun from MAP, so and so forth. I mean, we have some of the best of the best uh, brands and customers on our customer advisory board. And we meet regularly and they you know, tell us, okay, this is the vision our company has for e-commerce. Or this is what we wish we could do for the retail industry. And we take those and you know, say, okay, this is what the market wants or market aspires to. Let's build ahead of that. So 
I mean, how many people have heard of Ray Kurzweil? Anybody heard of Ray Kurzweil? Okay, he's the most preeminent futurologist in the world. So, I mean, he's been like somebody I've admired since I was like 10 years old. He invented voice recognition. He invented the first electric piano. He's that kind of a genius. And he runs an institute of futurology, an institute of looking at the future. And he also uh, has this uh, whole concept <coughs> called the singularity, where human beings and AI will start to communicate at the neural level. So I mean, that's all stuff that I enjoy talking about. That's a different topic. But what he said is, uh, our intuition, or what we can think about the future is linear. And if we go and uh, look, take 30 steps, I get 30 steps ahead. But what if you uh, use technology, technology is exponential, then you will get a billion steps ahead. So technology is used to create technology and you can multiply uh, your progress with technology. And that's, the, that's one of the ways that we have approached our platform. I'll show you how. So looking at tomorrow's future, uh, one of the big things that's happening is the convergence of AI and robotics. So if you see, we had robotics 20 years ago. If you went to a plant of, let's say, Mahindra Mahindra or Tata or you know anybody uh, making tractors or whatever, you had robots which did welding of cars, you know, joints and all that. You had factories which had in Germany everywhere they had robots to do those basic jobs. But the software that ran those robots was not self-learning. It did not keep improving the way it did the job. It did not have machine learning. So it was just a static software running a robotic machinery. Today, imagine that same machinery has an intelligent software, an artificial intelligence, which can tell it how to do this job better. Not only will your productivity increase, but it will come and give you feedback on how to make a better car make a better tractor or make a better whatever. So this is one of the big changes that's going to come in to the world. It's just coming out there. You're seeing robots now which can talk, right? Which can have a conversation. Why? Because you had a robot and then you took the, uh, the large language model uh, like ChatGPT and you merged these two. So this convergence is going to change the way the world is going to be in the next 36 months. And uh, ETP's platform is ready for this and I'll explain that later how. Information anywhere all the time. I think we are almost there. If you look at your phone, we do almost anything on the phone, right? You can do your email, you can do your messages, you can watch videos, you can do video calls with your family far away. So, you know, for business, it's not the same. There's too much problems with security. Too many problems with security, not much. So, information is not available to all business people or, or professionals everywhere on their mobile phone. So I think we're going to change that. Um, virtual reality. How do you deal with virtual reality? Has anybody experienced virtual reality? You know, the headset. Yeah? It's fun, right? But it also makes you a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Use it too long. It's like being a little drunk. Uh, yeah, but not in a nice way. Not in a nice way. Yeah, I agree with you. So virtual reality has is fun, but what are the practical applications? As as augmented reality comes in and also meets virtual reality. You're going to see a lot of shopping happening. The glasses are going to get thinner, not this big headset. You're just going to be able to wear like normal glasses and be able to see stuff. Also make choices with your eye movement and place orders. So you're going to have e-commerce with a different angle through virtual reality. You're going to see the convergence of augmented reality, virtual reality and e-commerce. Again, that depends on information availability and support to those systems. Uh, so, the last part is that, um, you know, the world is getting richer. If you look at 20 years ago, look at 40 years ago, look at 60 years ago, and you look 10 years, 20 years from now, the level of affluence is changing. You know, for those of you who have gray hair like me, our kids have a lifestyle that we could not afford, right? 20 years, 30 years ago when we, or 40 years ago when we were going to college, right? We couldn't afford things they can afford. That's why they're a little more chilled out than we are, which is great, but you know, it's different. So people will have more spending on luxury and leisure because they are more secure, right? 
So the more secure you are, the more you will spend your money. We were like, save your money, save your money, you know. Uh, you don't have enough. So that scarcity will move to abundance. And so is, is our company is ready for that. So what we have done is we have focused on building our new platforms on an architecture called uh, Mac architecture which is M for microservices. That means everything is broken into, instead of one large platform of software, we've broken it into 400 small pieces. Each one of those pieces, as is relevant can, at any time, can talk to a robot, it can talk to a virtual reality instrument, it can talk to an e-commerce site. It could be just, is this my client? Is this your right phone number? What is the price of this product? It could be any, any one of those queries. But 400 of those services can independently collaborate with, uh, as independent functions, without affecting each other, multiple parallel instances, uh, with any number of devices and instances. And since it's API first, um, and it's cloud native, the, the scalability and extensibility of the system is unlimited. And the important part is that it's headless, which means that the interface that you see is one of the options that we have given you for using this system. Remember we said uh, information anywhere, everywhere, all the time? So it could be tomorrow that you, let's say you're doing a Google search. And in that Google search you just say, okay, tell me more about the sales on Flipkart yesterday. And you can just add another part saying versus my sales. It will fetch Flipkart sales data as published by Flipkart, but it will also go inside your system, fetch your sales data, and compare the two. How? Because your data is available through an API, which is headless. That means it can come even through a Google search or any kind of other search. It suddenly makes your decision making very, very different. So this architecture is very powerful. Uh, the other, other strengths we have is we are IoT ready which means the internet of things. I think a lot of you may have experienced smart bulbs and you know various other things. But it's smart everything now. I mean, except human beings. The rest is all becoming smarter now. So um, I think we are IoT ready, we are certified, we know all the IEEE standards, so we comply by them. Uh, we've taken a different approach to artificial intelligence. So we have artificial intelligence built into our systems which uh, Veer and Bhavish will talk more about, Neem will talk a bit as well. But the thing is we're taking a black box approach, which means that there is one layer called the AI layer, and along with any customer who wants can give us an algorithm or an idea on what to implement. We just write the algorithm, boom, starts working. You don't have to build a separate AI platform for every use case. It's conceptually maybe not that easy to understand, but it is a very powerful concept because you literally can just have an unlimited number of AI applications in our system. There's no limit to being fixed or hardwired as you know it has three AI applications. Um, and we work very hard to make the system look uh, good. You, you'll see a demo of the system shortly. We've made sure it's very secure. We use